Good morning, guys. It has been quite the morning. I am getting into the studio so late. Uh, it's just been one of those mornings. I made myself a cup of tea in my favorite coffee mug. So, I thought, okay, I need to giddy up this morning. I wanted to share a couple things with you. I had a pretty good package delivered from Blick. I have been waiting all weekend to open with you guys. I cannot believe I've had so much self-control. I just kept thinking, wait till you're with the people and do it. So I restocked my golden matte fluid acrylics and restocked my yellow, blue, and red. Oh, actually, oh, I forgot about this. I think I got, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I decided to get a different red for my pinky red, you know, that I talk about. So the other one I had was Quinecodone Crimson, which I've reviewed and showed you guys, but I forgot I wanted to try just a little bit different pinky red. And I got the Quinecodone Magenta. I just got excited. I forgot about that. So I'll be testing this one today with you guys too. So that is a new color. That's going to be exciting. I better put this over here so I don't forget. And then I got, I needed a more like oceany blue. You need your ultramarine or cobalt blue. That's like your standard blue, but you also need kind of a cerulean or phthalo kind of color. So I got a phthalo blue green shade. So I'm going to be testing, doing a test swap. What's it called? Color swatch of this for you guys too. And I'm excited about that. So this is like, this is not a color that you'll use a lot of. So this, this bottle will go a long ways. Phthalos are very potent, so they can like take over your entire palette. So you want to use them very sparingly and you need to know how to use them. So you want to practice with them, but you know, they're just potent, but when you need them, you need them. And then I got another color that now I'm regretting because if I had seen this in the store and actually could see the appropriate or correct or the real color instead of like on the screen, I would not have bought this, but I got a permanent green light. Now I did not get this for the green because as you know, I mix all my greens and it's not the color green that I thought. I thought it was going to be the color of my walls. Maybe with a little white added it will be, but it's like... Wait, I saved this for you. I pulled this off and let it, and it's dry. Let's see if you can see that. I'll do a color swatch also, but it's not really a green that I'm too excited about. I don't think, but maybe when I get painting with it, it will be. But I can mix this color, like easily. Sure, yeah. So I'll use it for something. All right, the other thing I got, I'm not very happy about. I wanted to try white haired Chinese bamboo calligraphy kind of brush. The one that I bought that you've seen me talk about recently in other videos, I got that at a local art store and I loved it, but I wanted to see what Blick had. And I'm not very good about like just the sizes, you know, when they put the sizes on there, I'm a visual person. It's very difficult for me to get an idea, especially when you get into centimeters and millimeters and I don't know, any, really doesn't matter what it gets into. I just have a hard time with that. So I ordered the smallest one because I thought this was going to be the same size as the one that I got at my local art store. That's a real workhorse that I'm loving. I'm already wearing it down because I'm using it so much, but this is so tiny. And then I also don't like how thin it's got the tiniest like handle or what, what would you call this? The brush part, the whatever. Yeah, I don't really care for it. Maybe the bigger ones would be okay. I don't know. I'm not very happy about this part just either. All right, let's get on to something I am happy about. I restocked and reordered my blue ink that you've seen me paint with and talk about recently, and I have gone through it. Oh no, it leaked. Man, oh man, it is bummer leaked. I wonder how much of it I lost. Wow, that's a bummer. So the lid was not on there again. I restocked that. And uh, there was another color that I decided to get, the green. I hope this green makes me more excited than the other green. And we'll hope that it did not spill.
Then one more thing that I was excited about. This is kind of like a, what is it called when you buy something you weren't expecting to buy? A impromptu? No. A, you know what I'm talking about. Well, it was one of those purchases, but I'm excited about it. I think the paper from the Ruiz is going to be super thin, but thin paper can be deceptive. It can still be a workhorse. Okay, so this is what I got. I'm going to open it with you guys. I haven't opened it. I haven't looked at it. But I'm telling you, I'm excited. I think you guys are going to be excited too. Okay. So, oh my. Okay. Here's the thing. It's a sketchbook. That was just like the little info page. Are you ready for this? Okay, and a lot of people talk about how nice the cover is. It is nice. It's a soft cover. And then are you ready? Are you ready? Wait for it, wait for it. <sighs> Yellow paper. And it is, okay, on camera I can tell that it's looking a little more like lemony yellow. Mm -mm. It is sunshine, it's happy sunshine yellow paper. I mean, hello. Hot diggity. How fun is that going to be? Wow. Okay. Oh, it's going to lay flat. The binding of it feels a lot like the Stillman and Burn that I really love. This is going to be a fun, fun sketchbook. I'm kind of flattening the pages. It's going to lay flat, I can tell. It's thin paper, but you can tell on one side it has a little bit of sizing. It's kind of slickety. So what I'm going to first do in this is what I normally do. I'll put an if found page with all my info because if I lose this baby, I'll want it back. And then I'll do a test. I always say the, so the first page is always the if found page. Then my second page is always like color swatch page. So I'm excited about trying my inks to see if they bleed through. I'll try my color pencils and see how they feel on it. And it will just be, this is gonna be more of like a quick sketch. I'm not gonna treat this like one of my nicer, fancy sketchbooks. This'll be a like workhorse, play around kind of sketchbook. Some people call those their ugly sketchbooks. I just call it, you know, it's just more of a, I don't approach this with like, I'm gonna do a finished sketch, even though sometimes I do, but I am hot, diggity, doggity excited about these yellow pages. Okay, and this company has other colors. They had red, blue, maybe green. I can't even remember all the colors, but the yellow was screaming to me. And the pictures on the thing, I think were really good. Like on the website, really captured it well. It does, it's that nice feel. This, it feels fancy and expensive, but it wasn't very expensive. I'm definitely going to be playing in this today. Okay, so this is the size of, you guys, I have the largest, I use the largest Stillman and Burn, and then I have the next size down size Stillman and Burn. I mean, why am I telling you this? I already told you the size. And then it's the size of like the smallest. I'm just telling you that in case. I know a lot of y'all have tried the Stillman and Burn since I've talked about it. So it's that size, it's five by eight. That was sufficient. And because I do often give y'all the measurement, head measurement, there it is. Right, okay. This day is getting off to a better start already. Yes, it's making up for all the, except for my ink that just spilled. I just looked all, I'm looking at it. I don't think I lost too much of it, but kind of a bummer. It's already starting off messy. Okay, but we're not gonna focus on that. We're gonna focus on the fact that we have exciting new art supplies to test out today. But there's a lot of pages on this. But yeah, mm -hmm. I'll get back with you though if I recommend it or not. I'm gonna go drink my tea, work on some editing for a video for you guys for this week. And then when I feel a little more for my tea, that means I'm a little more woken up. And when I have better lighting, it's gloomy wall day right now. When I have some better lighting, I'm gonna film some footage of opening my green ink and trying my new paints too. My new paint colors. It's gonna be fun. All right. Nothing like some good old new art supplies to turn the day around.
very obvious the difference. It's gonna be interesting to see which one of these I like working with better. All right, this is the Thalo Blue. This should be a very staining color and quite powerful. Oh yeah. Look at that. Really pretty. Okay, let's add some white to this and see what happens. Yeah, look at that. Look how pretty that is. That's definitely like your ocean blue and it is very staining, I can tell, and it will take over your palette if you're not careful. Good purchase. Look at this water. Wow. That's pretty. Definitely not loving this green, guys. Wow. Oh, maybe. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe like this. Yep, I just added some white. Okay, maybe. Yeah, it's a little better with the white, but it's still, it's kind of neon-y. Here is the Quinecrodome Crimson in the Golden Matte. And then up here is the other one that I cannot remember the name of it right now in the Golden Matte. And then here's that red red. You can watch my art last art supply haul. I have these. But you can tell that this is a little more of the red red. Still leans towards a pinky red compared to this. And then this is much more pink. And then here's the Thalo Blue compared to the Ultramarine Blue, which is right here and this one and this one I added white to it now I'm thinking that I want to try this green ink and I want to do some swatches in one of my sketchbooks here at the front and see what this color looks like I'm pretty excited about it so I think I'm gonna just work for my palette here do some color swatches and ooh, I'm gonna get my writing stick that I carved recently. There was a video on that in case you guys didn't see it. It's right here. Or the stick is right here, not the video. I mean, the video will be somewhere up in here. I'll put a link, but my writing stick, maybe I'll do some swatches with this. Ooh, I cannot wait to draw with this. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, one of the things that's pretty cool about Higgins, I can't remember the, like the official thing of what they call these bottles, but they're basically like, they call them non-spill bottles because they're flat on the bottom, so that's pretty cool. It has kept me from knocking this over a few times. Now, what's not great about it though is that it's kind of got this little opening, so then when I'm, especially with this stick, trying to stick that in, I'm often like knocking it all over the place, but I haven't spilled it yet. Of course, now that I say that, I'll be spilling it in this video, don't you know? All right, let's see what this looks like. Let me bring you guys a little closer. Oh yeah, okay, this is exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Oh, I love it. It's like a really wonderful kind of forest green. Now, it may change a little when it dries, but this represents like the color that I saw online. It was a good representation of this. Ooh, I'm excited about that. Okay, that's gonna be wonderful. I cannot wait to see what that looks like when it dries.
I'm super happy with it. It's very emerald green. If I had to name it something, emerald green, in between emerald green and like a hunter green. Very, 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 very happy with this. I think I'm going to make these pages right here my if found pages. That seems to make a lot more sense. And I think I'll use my jelly roll pen to do something here. I'm not going to make you guys watch that. I'm going to use this front page right here that doesn't want to kind of close real well. I'll probably use the front and back of this to do some of my tests. I do think I'm going to slide a piece of paper though behind it so I don't ruin the other page. Alright, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is just test like a regular pin. And then I'm going to try my Pigma Sensei marker. It shows through because it's thin paper, but it's not necessarily like bleeding through. And then I'm going to try some of my other markers here too. This is my Faber Castle pit pen. I like that yellow on yellow. And I want to make sure to label what I do because I want to be able to remember if that worked or not. What's also really nice about having this swatch page at the beginning or even at the back of your sketchbook is that then when you get new supplies, you've got a place to be able to do a quick little swatch. Obviously, I'm not going to swatch all of these. And so then when I pick something up, I've got a place to just kind of do a little blah, blah, blah before I use it in this paper because everything's going to look so different on this yellow than on white paper. It's kind of like uh, my black sketchbook. I love having a swatch page because I definitely want to try things out. I mean, some of these colors are looking so pretty on this yellow like the pink my purple one I mean it just it transforms it it's basically like you've got yellow shining through these markers so I'm loving it so far whoa that blue looks so pretty on that yellow I can't get over how many colors are looking good with this yellow I'm gonna try some gouache on here. I'm not expecting this paper to hold up very well at all to water anything, but I still wanna just try it. I'm quite sure it's gonna buckle like crazy. But so far, I'm thrilled with the colors. Interesting, it's got a little of like resist to it, which I'm not surprised now that I think about it because it does feel like it has some sizing on it, which I usually love when paper does that. So this, mm -mm. now I'm really kind of excited. This could be quite, uh, what am I trying to say? Like take a lot of stuff, we'll see. 
Man, things look so pretty on this yellow. It's just, it's like I've got this background, this like um, ground already laid and I, the colors just look gorgeous on it. I wish it came in bigger. I don't love this size. I've definitely, like the next size up is what I really enjoy working in, but this is gonna be a fun sketchbook. I'm gonna go get my ink that tends to bleed through, my new Higgins ink, and I'm gonna try it on this. Yeah, it's bleeding through. Good morning, guys. It is the next day from getting my supplies, doing those color swatches for you, and I am all, well look, you can see my camera set up. That's my overheads. Professional gear. Mm -hmm or set up. And then over here, I have my tea and markers and my colored pencils and my yellow sketchbook. I was trying to give some thought of what I wanted to sketch. In the smaller version, I have to think through a little more what I want to do. And I was flipping through some old sketchbooks and uh, I came across some birds that I really liked. And I think I'm going to sketch from those sketches instead of pulling out my bird reference books because I really like the looseness of some of these. And I did them just in black marker on white paper. And I think I want to try them with my markers and then probably using maybe some colored pencil on top. I've been liking that effect. I also think I want to try some gouache or watercolor on this paper because I really like the way that it's handling so I'm gonna sit down with my cup of tea and enjoy sketching. This will probably be something that I'll work on through the day because it's really cloudy out and dark right now. So I can't do some of the things that I need to do today for videos, photos, filming. This kind of filming, I'm okay with it being a little dark. And this may be a little dark too, but I just really feel the need to sketch. And of course, I'm gonna bring you guys along. So let's do that right now. So I definitely wanna sketch this guy. This guy's kinda cute too. This guy is way too fat. He has stuffed himself on turkey dinner. And then... Yeah, there's just several in this book that I want to use as reference. I like this guy too. So I'm gonna just sit down and start with this guy. Markers, colored pencils, tea.
Good morning, guys. I have been under the weather. I've got a sinus infection going strong. So if I sound a little, <clears throat> it's because I am. While I've been sick, I've been playing around with some of my new supplies and I wanted to show you a couple of things as I've been testing and give you my thoughts. Uh, hello. Can we first just savor and soak in this emerald green, wow. I mean, I'm really hoping that this is gonna do justice on the camera because when I looked back at some other footage, it didn't show up as like as intense and rich as it really is. Like I feel like on the camera, this is showing up kind of washed out, but it is rich and like sumptuously gorgeous. I'm just so happy with it. Wow, that guy looks like he's been doing drugs or demon possessed or something. Uh, so I, I used this mainly because, so this is like a bamboo pen thing, dip pen thing that you can buy that's really cheap. Basically I used this instead of my homemade ones because I didn't want to stand up. I wasn't feeling good. So I was feeling kind of lazy. And again, I was just using this green Higgins ink and I loved it. I mean, I just, I can't get over that. Okay. Next to the yellow sketchbook. I've been playing around with this also. Let's see what I've done so far. More color swatches. This lady that I think I've already showed you. I do think in the smaller books, I don't really like, I'll show you in a minute one that I just did like in this format. Because it's so small, I do think I'm going to use it in its widest. So if I'm going to do a vertical. I'm going to do it this way and horizontal take up both pages even though the reason I stopped kind of doing my sketchbooks like that is because when I'm doing a flip through it's a little bit of a pain in the rear to keep changing the camera and doing it like this and that. But oh well I'll just have to not be lazy. This one I did with my gold pencil that you've seen me use that was like something I didn't even realize I ordered and I love it because it's not real gold. You know what I mean? It's not like I made him say hello in the cute. It's not like it's obnoxious gold. So that was fun. One with my Tombow markers. I love using those, but they do bleed through, which is a bummer. I mean, this paper is super, super, super thin. I, I really like this sketch and I did this one with my jelly roll pen, and this was like an orange, what color? I feel like these like don't tell you very easily what color it is, and yeah, so I don't have a clue what color it is, but it's like an orange, and I'm really liking that color. I doubt it's showing up very well on the camera, but again, it does bleed through. And so, let's see, what is this one with? This is with that same, yeah, this is with that same marker right here. I don't 
don't know why, but my arm is so tired. Like, I feel like I'm shaking holding this. Wow. So I think what I'm gonna do is maybe just do every other page if I'm using a marker. That sounds like a waste, but it wasn't a very expensive sketchbook. And then like pages, this page right here, I did with an orange, my polychromos color pencils. I just don't really like sketching with color pencils as much. I can get more variance with markings with a pen, but I mean, that guy's cute. I feel like this is gonna be like the shakiest footage. Oh, I think it's because the medicine I'm on for my sinus infection is making me shaky. So I think I may do every other page and then pages that have some of the bleed through, I can do like color pencils, something that I don't feel as precious about, or maybe I'll do some documenting on pages like that. Here I experimented with gouache. This is not a very good painting. I don't love this. And then what I did on the page over here where it normally maybe like bleed through, I just documented some stuff. Sorry about the shaking. And it really, because of the sizing, held up well. Of course, it did exactly what I expected. So you're gonna get, can you see the bumpities? It's gonna be a little bumpy on this side. But I, yeah, that's fine. I definitely prefer a little bit bigger sketchbook. And I do think that I'm finding myself being somebody who really likes thicker pages. Did I already say too, like I used wax pastel on this? I used my, what did I use? my water soluble ones and I do like this so I'll probably yeah I'll probably use this for I mean multiple mediums I'm happy with it it's fun it's definitely a fun one I'm happy with it I'm a happy woman I really need to sit y'all down because I'm like I feel so shaky okay let's see this is not going to be a very flattering camera angle I'm feeling too lazy to go set up a layer for you to sit on. All right, so today is going to be, the video is going up today, it's Friday. So I need to go finish putting together my Instagram stories and Instagram posts for that. I think today's gonna be a low key day because I'm just still feeling a little puny, but I do feel the urge to do some kind of art. I've not done much this week because I've been so blah. So when I'm feeling like that, I think it's best to do non, like I'm definitely not gonna go do anything on the easel. I'm gonna just do things that feel very safe that I'm very confident in and that are just kind of low key, something I can do quickly and sitting. I'm kind of feeling the urge to do, get my oil pastels out or my wax pastels, one of those, and just do some sketchbook stuff. So we'll see if that happens. I'm also, when I'm feeling kind of puny, one of the things that I love about having this channel is that I can edit videos and still feel like I'm doing something creative, using this creative side. So times when I'm tired or just not feeling very good, it's so nice to just be able to sit down and still just do something productive and creative. So I think I'm gonna do that today, just really, it's Friday and I usually don't start the next video, but like I'm ahead, which is not the norm. I think I'm going to just sit down and edit and get ahead for next week, which will feel amazing. Also, probably should do some laundry. That's another thing, on days that I'm feeling blah, I do like to get some house, like housework stuff done, that's low key housework, like laundry and dishes and stuff, because then when I'm feeling good, I can get in here and like crank it out. So that's always nice, so I save all the not as fun stuff for when I'm building a little blah. So I think it'll probably end up being a mixture of probably no art and editing and getting some laundry done. But that will be a productive day, a productive sick day. So I'll be happy with that. And then I'll also be sitting down and answering your questions as they come in from the video, which I hope you like this week. Oops. All right, that's it. I need to go drink some water and have some more coffee, I think, and then get on those morning duties. Thanks for joining me, guys, on just the ups and downs of this studio and just all the things. I just really appreciate you guys, and I'm so thankful to have you guys and to have this channel. It's just a really, 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 really big blessing in my life, and I'm glad that it's growing and that you guys are looking forward to the videos each week. It means so much to me to hear that from you guys. I mean, it just blesses me and makes me like, I'm gonna get one out this week. So thanks for joining me once again on another art haul and another week in the studio here at Bits of an Artist's Life. Thanks guys so much, bye.